The on call, I always think, is a massive example of like everybody is managing their patient at that time, and then it's the next step of being like, right, we need to get the the chest physio in, um, and it's as we put the airways in, we do the suction through say that the ET tube or through the nose, through the mouth, we're the ones that use the cough assist, we're the ones that use the bird and it is, that is our speciality, that's what we can come in and offer at a night time for a patient that is deteriorating or that is unwell. My first ever on call where I used to work and we had this consultant and he was like I've got a really poorly patient that's in resource, like can you come in? And I went in, he had haemoptysis, so he's, there was a lot of blood, etc, etc, and he'd just been like, we're going to intubate this patient and take him up to intensive care, but we just need you to help maintain in the meantime, help with suctioning, etc. Um, and I got in, and the gentleman was somebody that I knew my colleagues had known from, like, he's a long-term respiratory patient, he was coming in and out of outpatients, um, outpatient respiratory and they took him up to intensive care and he was intubated and he was tubed for a long time and they eventually tracked him. We had an amazing relationship with him and it was that rehab from like being completely flat, having nothing going on, to having the sed sedation withdrawn. We were rehabbing him and I remember we walked him off the intensive care onto the medical wards and then he was on medicals for a long time and then he eventually was just walking down the corridor and he was like, I'm going home and we were like, what, what, like, it, and it was just that amazing feeling, like from seeing him from entering the hospital literally to the day he was going, it was just, it was almost mind blowing. And I think sometimes even as therapists, we forget how long someone's journey is and how much difference you, you make and how much it does touch you.